Today I'll be speaking about uh, Molaire and Persimmons and comparing both short stories and showing you how they are similar in the fact that they lack conformity. In uh, both the stories of Persimmons and Molaire, the narrators have major loss of conformity within their, cult their cultures. Their perceptions of behavior become quite different from someone native to their culture. This seems apparent that their culture diffusion has changed their inner selves and sheds light on the fact that the American dream come with a price. Um, that was my general, uh, my general uh, definition for conformity. There's obviously variations of it, but that's I would say is the main, main, uh, main theme about it. Uh, the fact that it's a it's a it's a social standard that um, you know you conform in the social standard, so it becomes accepted, um, and that can obviously change when you're trying to assimilate uh, another culture. And in both these stories, you see that these cultures. Uh, they're trying to assimilate American culture, and with that, you find that you basically have to give up your own culture, or you can you can also forget some some uh, points in yours, yours as well. And you kind of lose your your original self and the way you're brought up when you assimilate these new cultures in your life. Um, in Persimmons, one thing I like to point out is the fact that he. He has taken on the American role. He has now an American girlfriend. He has uh, been living in America for a while now, so he has, per se, reached his American dream. Um, and then realizing that, he is laying there in a grass field with his girlfriend. And he's all he's trying to do is teach her about himself and his old heritage and some old Chinese words that he's obviously known before. And if you were to read the story, about four out of five words he just couldn't remember. And what I think that's from is the fact that when you're assimilating this new American culture, you literally forget who you used to be. You, used to, you forget your language that you grew up in. You forget what your mother and father taught you. And, you know, I teach her Chinese, crickets. He forgot, dude, I've forgotten, naked, I've forgotten. Simple words that you would think that a Chinese person would know in their culture, he has forgotten completely and he's gone to accept that fact. And in the short story for later, her reality is very is just versus her dreams. She comes up and she's raised in a barrio, a Spanish speaking neighborhood, um, and obviously a low income uh, home because she, she, she literally wakes up every morning, listens to her parents' uh, stories about you know what they could have been doing and their father is more of a businessman, more, more so trying to just hold the, the, the house down. And basically, um, the mother, she's not comfortable living there either. So it's kind of ironic how the, both the mother and the narrator share this profound, I wish I could fly away from the setting I'm in now. And that's what we kind of see in the story. She, like, the reality is she, she lives in Barrio, she's a skinny Puerto Rican girl, and she lives in a low income house. So they can't travel, they can't get out of the setting that they want to be in. And and what she does to kind of uh, combat the fact that she can't do any of these things because of the circumstances she is in, uh, she kind of just dreams. She dreams and she uses that to kind of escape the reality that she's in. And she wishes she could fly anywhere. She wishes that she had long arms, blonde hair, you know, large breasts, you know, the American way. And, no, it's fine. Sorry. Go back. Go back. Yeah, yeah sorry. Um, and you know she wishes she just get, could get out of those settings. And I think what the, in both stories what they realize is, and maybe more so in Persimmons, that he realizes the fact that assimilating this new American culture, he is going to obviously lack in his own heritage, and he's going to. It's, it comes at a cost, and it comes at a cost in the fact that you lose who you used to be, and the fact that in Valere maybe she hasn't found that out yet. Maybe it will take her to actually reach those goals to figure out that it comes at a cost, and that she won't she won't be the same person she used to be. She could she could have really taken those things for granted. And uh, one thing also I like to point out was the fact that um, in Persimmons that um, her, his mother was literally teaching him uh, about Persimmons his whole life. Uh, his father used to paint them. Uh, so this was this he was brought up in this culture. And you know the Chinese apples, so you know he should know plenty about it. And the fact that literally he's been taught this all his life, and the fact that he's literally has forgotten all of it. And he even went back to his father, 
And because during the story, he goes back to his house and he's visiting his father again. And his father, and he asks his father, how are your eyes? And then he realizes, that was a stupid question, my father's blind. So in, in, that, in, in that aspect, you kind of get a picture of, wow, he really, he's really not used to being in that house in that setting anymore. So it's literally a whole new world for him. That's good.